far. They've kept the Flames off the board, Terry. Well, we got Dunk Wilson doing a very good job the first period of momentum, and they're winning the draws. In fact, this is one of the things Kenny Schenkel pointed out, why we've been ineffective killing power plays, because we're losing the draw. Guys like LaRouche and Shock and some of these players, you lose it in your own end. And uh, great save by Mir. Boy, Bill Mir has made some great saves, all of them with a the gloved hand in this period. That's Carnival coming in on the side for a possible rebound. The shots now are 16-8 Pittsburgh, which means it's 11-2 Pittsburgh just in this period with 11-48 remaining in the second period. The ball on the loose puck. If Chapman could have got his 6-3, he would have had Mir at his mercy from about 8 or 10. The defenseman leaves one for Brian Spencer. Shot right in the navel. Did he have they got a shot going. I want to tell you something. That's unbelievable. Bernie Boom Boom Jeffreyon was there to broadcast for it. All right, and they got the big M's on there. Marut, McAdam, and Murdoch. And we're coming out with all of our guns, too. Face off 25 seconds to go. Greg Malone out against Wayne Merrick. All right. Dead. Do continue, as I was saying, uh, WII Down a goal in the first 15 seconds of play. Sam, this is uh, the first game that Kurt Ridley has started in uh, three, and uh, he's been off to a, a little bit of a shaky start. Uh, playing patchy. Come on, gang. We've got to get that thing out of there. there. I'll tell you where they're working on it's pretty good. If they can get away with it, is they got a man like Crumbing, number 14. Uh, let's see to whom. Uh, when I say come out for the open pantry, that it. means he'll skate to the bench, and Cleveland will put a sixth attacker out on the ice. Skating around their goaltender, who tonight will be Kurt Ridley. Ridley has a goals against average of 3.97 at the other end of the ice for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Dunk Wilson, the ex-Vancouver Canuck, will 10 goal for the Pens tonight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, changes. The Pens bring out Pierre LaRouche. There you see Kurt Ridley in goal for the Canucks. Kehoe will be on the right of LaRouche and Mike Corrigan. On. Smith may have missed it, but he got through to Ridley. And the Penguins have certainly dominated here, Greg. That is a power play goal. And a great effort by Dennis Ochar, who went down all alone, went around the defenseman, and let his drive go. Chuck got it out in front, I believe, to Keogh, and the Penguins lead it two to nothing. Great three-on-one break as the Canucks were all trapped all right. from Odlison and put it right on the goal. You can see the problem that Orland Curtinback is faced with, Sam. It's just uh, one of those things. the crowd. And I think I mentioned that... Both teams would start drag a man short, but that is not the case at all. They're both playing at equal and full strength. Around and made a fine save as we look at Dennis Heron, who's done a good job for the Penguins. Great job of clearing out that area. So with 8.52 left in this first period, and we're looking at Dennis Heron, number one, with the painted mask. Most uh, bona fide National Hockey League goalkeeper we have. Penguins backup goaltender, by the way, tonight is a young man by the name of Bob Johnson. We have an out-of-town scorer in the first period in Montreal. LeFleur has scored and put Montreal up in the lead zone. Two nothing leagues, a pretty good lead, but there's a lots of hockey left. Uh, the shot's 4-4 for both teams, but Toronto hasn't had that strong of scoring opportunities, but have capitalized on two, the two that they have had. There's a look at I didn't see what predicated that move by DuPont, but it must have been some butterflies away just to hang on to everything. And of course, it forces uh, face offs. It slows down the opposition's attack and very quickly in that sin bin, so to speak, for two minutes. We have another upcoming Stanley. I think it's Pellick. He's the one that had Clark Hall tied up in front of the net there. and. Drove them into the goal post, and the post came on, or the goal itself came off the post, and uh, it's stopped the play. And believe me, uh, you can't score with it off the play. Okay, Bob Clark will take the draw as you look at goaltender Wayne. McLeish put the count in home, but he couldn't loft it over the sprawling goaltender Wayne Thomas, and it's still 3-1. Final period, because as Flyer fans know, two goals by the Flyer. 